focus on that which will sustain you, and that is the calories, only the calories. And so listed in that order, we are going to go through the crops that should be in your Viking food security garden. Number one is potatoes. Yes, guys, potatoes are going to, they can sustain you completely. So you can survive for quite some time just on potatoes. They are loaded with vitamins and minerals and fibers and good quality starches. All the good stuff that we need can be found in the potato. So they are number one and they will store all winter long if you do it right. So here are some Yukon Golds from the season and these are still nice and solid. I've been eating them all winter. We are already in the middle of January. This is a German Butterball potato, still rock solid. Very different kind of texture though, still a golden potato, but this is very dense, very heavy, and think German potato salad, that kind. I really like the German Butterball, and both of these store for a long time. Next crop is going to be the sweet potatoes, because they are packed with nourishment, vitamins, minerals, all the good stuff, but they also store for a crazy amount of time, and you don't need any special kind of storage. The sweet potato will store just sitting out on the shelf for eight months to a year, year and a half. Hey, Some of them I've had. Is the slip, and look at the roots. That's what you need, roots. And just keep piling your dirt and compost around it, and in four, five, six, eight weeks, you'll start getting some beautiful potatoes. Then with the compost, a shovel, and right there. Okay. Now, sweet potato slips. It is what grows potatoes. This, right here. It's a sweet potato. It grows slips. That's what makes new sweet potatoes. Just won't. You plant this, you're going to get bukus of slips, hundreds of them. But you're not going to get many potatoes. When you take these slips off that potato, you take them and you set them in water. And in that water, look at the roots. In just a couple of days, look at the roots. Then you come right here, right back to hay and stuff, and you plant these slips, okay? These slips is what grows sweet potatoes. Now, as that slip grows and gets long like these, you want about that much sticking out the ground all the time. So what you do, as time goes by, you add a little dirt, a little compost, and you keep on doing that. The old people call that a potato hill, hill of potatoes. Sweet potatoes, or potatoes, it don't matter. You make a hill. As it grows, keep your hay and stuff, compost, around it. And as they come higher and higher and higher, you just keep adding. And then, it's a if little you live in zone nine. You are lucky enough to enjoy a long growing season. This zone encompasses parts of the southern United States, including California, Arizona, Texas, Florida, and Louisiana. The warm temperatures and mild winters in Zone 9 make it possible to grow a wide variety of plants, from vegetables and herbs to flowers and fruit trees. When planning your garden in Zone 9, it's important to know when to plant different crops for optimal growth and yield. Here is a planting calendar for Zone 9 that will help you get the most out of your garden. January Plant cool season vegetables such as broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, and lettuce. Sow seeds for carrots, beets, and turnips. Start onion sets indoors for transplanting later. February Continue planting cool season vegetables. Plant asparagus crowns. Sow seeds for peas fava beans, and radishes. First up is spinach. And really any sort of leafy green, such as romaine or buttercrunch lettuce, uh, are gonna do really well this time of year. And you'll be very comfortable planting this in your garden. Um, and any of the seeds I'm showing you today, I have no affiliate, affiliation with um, any of the brand names, but these are kind of just what we had in our um, seed storage. So when you're looking at the back, I always just like to reference the days to harvest because you are planning your summer garden. You just wanna double check that this is gonna be ready to harvest prior to needing this space for something else. 
Number two is radishes and radishes are so good, um, are such a good little vegetable uh, for beginner gardeners and they're so fast to harvest, like 20 to 28 days, that's three to four weeks. Um, so I planted quite a few here. We planted some back in kind of the late fall and have already harvested them. So we're ready for round two and these will not take up much space, nor will they intrude on our summer garden plants. Number three, carrots. So carrots are another root vegetable. These do super well in cold temperatures. And you can see here, uh, frost tolerant, that's good to, good to know. Um, and then 65 days to um, maturity there in February 6th. That'll put us in early April. So again, I'm not worried about timing with this one. Number four, Swiss chard. Another one that we often forget about, but we love Swiss chard. You can do so much with it in stews or we've made lettuce wraps. Um, the stalks are delicious. The leaf, leafy green portion is delicious. 